Hi, boys and girls. I'm not even close to being done decorating this cake, but I've run out of icing. I sent a friend to the store to get more icing sugar so that I can make some more. Carl was supposed to get it, but he forgot. And that's okay. I forgive him. I mean, we all forget now and then. He's hiding back there in the kitchen right now. He's too embarrassed to come out because he forgot. He can't understand how I could forgive him. You know, forgiveness is so important in our lives. Sometimes we even need to learn to forgive ourselves. Well, this is all I can do. I guess I better clean up. I'll put this cake aside until I'm able to finish it. I hope you decide to stay and learn more about forgiveness together. Look at this cake. Let's get all our friends, cause it's that time again. It's time to head on down to Miss Charity's Diner. Dusty's gonna come along, and we'll see Farmer Shalom. It's time to have some fun at Miss Charity's Diner. Take Constable Howie by the hand, Sulin Josiah, and Mr. Den. Another special day is coming our way at Miss Charity's Diner. Mr. Rainium's got a story for you. Mr. Bookworm's gonna be there too. More things to learn, more things to do at Miss Charity's Diner. Carl's got his apron on. Mr. Marty's singing a song. Everybody come along to Miss Charity's Diner. Come on, let the fun begin. Cause it's that time again. A happy day with all our friends at Miss Charity's Diner. Nothing could be finer than to spend some time at Miss Charity's Diner. Please keep looking. It's got to be back there somewhere, Carl. Boy, am I ever in trouble. Where could it be? Where could it be? I forgot to get Miss Charity her icing sugar. Oh, boy. Oh, Boo! Thank God you're here. Um, Miss Charity, I kind of got something to tell you. You know, Bo, you know how I sent you to the store yesterday to get the icing sugar? Well, I can't seem to find it. Where did you leave it, honey? At the store. Pardon me? You, you forgot to get the icing sugar? Oh, please tell me you didn't forget. Please, please. Well, I was on my way to the store and... And, and what? And I forgot. You forgot? What am I going to do? I have to put icing on that cake. It's a birthday cake for today. The boys and girls are going to be so disappointed. I've got to come up with something else. Maybe I can try an icing. And I got to talk to my friend. Maybe I can come up with a mayonnaise kind of icing. But that's not going to work at all. It's not sugary at all. The kids are going to notice. Well, that's not going to work. How about I didn't mean to forget it, Miss Charity. I really didn't. Um, oh, Bo, yes, uh, don't worry about it. I'm sure I'll think of something. Carl can even help me think of something, and I forgive you. Where'd he go? Oh, well. Okay, Carl, we've got to think of something, and we've got to think of something fast. We've got to finish this and make it look like a birthday cake. Today. Ouch! Ooh. Hey, that's some scratch. You must be really angry at that kitten. Are you going to put it back outside? Oh, of course not, Rusty. We're going to find these kittens really nice homes. But it scratched you. That's okay. I can forgive him for that. But why? Maybe it'll scratch you again. Listen, Dusty. Doesn't God forgive you? Uh, uh huh. Yeah. And don't you still sometimes make mistakes? Uh, I suppose so. Well, if God can forgive us when He knows that we're going to make mistakes, don't you think that we should forgive others too when they make mistakes? Well, I never thought of it that way, but you were angry. Well, maybe at the time. I mean, it did hurt a little bit. You know, I can still forgive him. You know, I forgave you last week when you jumped through the fence and ate all the petunias. Oh, I was hoping you'd forgotten. <laughs> I didn't forget.
but I did forgive. Hmm. You're right. I hope it doesn't scratch me, though. <laughs> I'll keep the kittens away from you, Dusty. Good idea. Hey, wait a minute. Talk about a good idea. Where are you going? I'll be back. Dusty, what, what in the world? Well, after all, three dogs need to be careful. We don't have nine lives, you know. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta L-O-V-E, love. One day, the Zolio children decided to make the club. Carlis came by, asked, what's it all about? We're not gonna tell you, you're not invited. No one asked you to join. Those Zolio children began to shout. This wasn't right, this wasn't good, the children weren't acting as they should, so I stepped in together, we could work this out. Hey there, I said, what's all the noise that's coming from you girls and boys? Maybe I could do something to help you children out. It's our club and she can't join, we've got enough kids already. Besides, we don't like her anymore, cause she took Amanda's teddy. Oh, now I see what this is all about, it happens in everyday living. We make a wrong choice, hurt those we love, and then there's no forgiving. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta L-O-V-E. So now I've got to teach these children what my loving mama taught me. You can love the person, not their sin, and still live in harmony. I've got an idea I know will work, cause I've used it before. It's a love and peace blanket, covers us in love, cause loving is what we're here for. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta L-O-V-E. Now all God's children, it's plain to see. There's no peace when there's no forgiving. So ask God's help, this makes him happy and you'll enjoy a life of peaceful living. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta L-O-V-E. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta ask forgiveness, gotta give forgiveness. Gotta L-O-V-E, love. Hi, my name is Abby. I've come down here to Miss Charity's Diner to tell you about Miss Charity's Kids Club website. When you remember, it's really awesome. You can email any of the characters like Miss Charity, Mr. Stan, and even Josiah and Sule. When you go to the website, you will see all of Miss Charity Diner's episodes for life. You could even get a birthday card from Miss Charity when it's your birthday. There are whole sorts of neat things to do at Miss Charity Diner's Kids Club website, and all you have to do is go to www.facebook.com and make sure it's okay with your mom or dad and tell them Abby sent you. Remember the website is www.facefield.com. Here you go, sir. One muffin just like you ordered. And I thought that I would bring some water for you guys. You look like you're running a little low. Enjoy your food. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Could you please come in for a minute? I'd really like to talk to you. Oh, hello, Miss Charity. Have a seat. You sort of disappeared on me earlier. Where did you go? I went to the park to eat my snack. You ate your snack all by yourself? But, Bo, you always eat your snack here with me. Did I do something to make you angry? Are you upset with me? Did you do something to upset me? I thought you were upset with me for forgetting the icing sugar. Oh, no, Bo, I forgive you. You know, there's often times when I don't do what God tells me to do, and I just ask him to forgive me, and he does every time. He does? Yes. The Bible also says that if we don't forgive others, then God can't forgive us, and I surely don't want that to happen to me. But what about your cake? Oh, no problem. 
God gave me an idea for a different kind of icing. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Wow. The icing looks like clouds. Uh -huh. Can I have a taste? I'm so glad you asked. Because I made a cupcake especially for you. Mmm. The icing tastes like whipped cream. That's because it is whipped cream, silly. <laughs> and I have you and God to thank for that. What do you mean? Well, since you forgot my icing sugar, God had to give me an idea for a different kind of icing. And this is what he came up with, and I think it's pretty good. And how. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Ouch. What's the matter, Mr. Bookworm? Are you okay? Oh, with this ridiculous thorn on this ridiculous rose bush, just pick me. Thorns are dumb. I hate them. Why do rose bushes have to have thorns anyway? Hmm. That's a very good question, and I don't have the answer. But God made them that way, so he must have a reason. Mm -hmm. huh? There. Does that feel better? Yes, I do. Remember. A pick by a thorn is much better than having one in your heart. Uh-huh. What are you talking about, Miss Drania? It's like the time that Trevin was picking on Gordy about his new running shoes. Would you like me to tell you that story, Mr. Bookworm? I certainly would. Okay. Girls and boys at home, would you like to hear that story, too? Brady cat, Brady cat, Gordy is a Brady cat. I am not, said Gordy. You are so. Mr. Frady Cat doesn't want to jump through the mud puddle with his brand new running shoes on. I'm not afraid of jumping over the puddle, Gordy said. I'm afraid of landing in the mud puddle. You see, Gordy had been saving his allowance for a really long time to buy these wonderful, bright, shiny white running shoes with the little light that blinks in the back. And he'd been waiting so long and Finally, he got his running shoes, and he was so proud of them. You're just a fraidy cat. Well, that was it. Gordy couldn't take it anymore, and he started. Wait, Gordy, don't do it, Trevin's sister Taryn said. He's just teasing you, but it was too late. Gordy had jumped over the puddle and landed splat right in the middle. Ha, ha, ha said Trevin. Not so much of a Mr. Smarty Shoes now. Uh-oh, said Gordy. Are you ever going to get it when you get home? Well, Gordy got home, and he was in the back room taking those muddy socks and shoes off, and he was so angry. I can't stand that guy. I can't stand Trevin. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. What on earth happened to you? Gordy's mom said. Well, said Chucky, he kind of had a fight with the mud puddle and lost. Gordy was really angry. That's not funny, Chucky, he said. I hate that guy, Mom. I just hate him. Now that's enough, Mom said. We don't talk like that in this house. I want you to run upstairs and think about what's happened to you, and I'll try and get these shoes cleaned. Well, pretty soon, Gordy heard some steps on the stairs, and his dad opened the door, and in his hands were Gordy's shoes. They weren't bright white anymore. They were kind of a yucky, dull gray. And the little blinky light at the back didn't blink anymore either. Well, son, mother did the best that she could with these shoes, but this is as good as they're going to be from now on. Oh, man, Gordy said. And another thing, I want you to go to school tomorrow and apologize to Trevin. Apologize? What do I have to apologize for? He's the one that was teasing me and, 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 Father said, you got upset. And when we have feelings like that, we need to work through them right away. And the best way to do that is to apologize. Oh, Gordy was not very happy. But the next day, he went to school. And he marched right up to Trevin. And Trevin didn't know what he was going to say to him. So I think he was getting a little nervous. And Gordy said, Trevin, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry about what happened yesterday. 
You're really sorry? Trevin said. Yeah, I shouldn't have let your tease and get to me like that. Want to play ball? Um, well, uh, sure, Trevin said. And Gordy, I just wanted you to know I'm really sorry about yesterday, too. Really? said Gordy. Yeah. Come on, let's go play ball. Wow. Gordy must feel really bad about ruining his new running shoes. I think he did. But you know what? A little mud on your shoes is nothing to mud on your heart. Gee, I never quite thought of it like that. I guess unforgiveness is a lot like mud. It can get pretty messy. It certainly can. And that's why it's so important to forgive right away. It's kind of like God washing our hearts with a little soap and water. <laughs> that's exactly right, until we're sparkling clean again. Oh, yes. Yeah. enough, you two. And why won't you forgive him? Don't you remember what God says about forgiving others? Well, um, well... Well, um, what? Uh, let's see you get out of this one. Well, that we should forgive each other. But, but, he's just a great big meanie. Do you remember what happens when we don't forgive? Well, if you don't forgive others, then God can't forgive you. Mm, imagine that, not having your sins forgiven, unless you're perfect. Perfect? Huh? <laughs> and I'm sure you didn't realize that playing a joke on someone could possibly hurt their feelings and embarrass them. Well, I know you didn't want to go around and hurt your friend. Jesus wouldn't go around treating us like that, now would he? Is something wrong? Yeah, uh, I think I hear my mom calling me, yeah. Whoa, wow, Josiah, you must have wonderful hearing. Because yeah. I know you live about five blocks away from here. Here, why don't oh. you go call your mom on the phone to make sure that it was her that was calling you. Because I was just about ready to open up a bag of chips for all of us. You're not my friend anymore, and I'm never, ever going to forgive you. It was just an accident. It was not. You broke it on purpose, and I'm never going to forgive you. What's going on here? I can hear you two way up the street. Constable Holly, look, he broke my Barbie. It was just an accident. I didn't mean to. I keep on telling her that. It was not. He broke it on purpose. Well... Accidents do happen. By the way, were you able to get a new cup that goes with your mother's good set? Remember you were telling me you lost one the other day? Well, the salesman said that she has to order one because they don't sell them there anymore. Wow. Your mom must be really angry with you. You know, she'll probably never, ever forgive you. My mom isn't mad at me anymore, Constable Howie. I said I was sorry and she forgave me. She always forgives me because she loves me and Jesus. That explains it. Explains what? That explains why you can't forgive Brett. Because you don't love Jesus and you don't love him either. But it was my favorite Barbie. Rebecca, accidents happen. That's why we call them accidents. Okay, now I get it. I forgive you and I'm sorry. I mean, if my mom and Jesus can forgive me for all the stupid things I do, I guess I can forgive you. Now, you know, Becky, that's what I like to hear. We should forgive people, even when they do things to us that are not accidents. Constable Howie, does that mean I have to forgive the mean kids at the park, even though they always try to beat me up? 
regret. You should forgive them, but you should not let them hurt you. Jesus does not want you to be hurt. Anytime anyone tries to hurt you or to get you to do something that's wrong, you find someone you can trust and you tell them right away, but you get away from that person so they can't hurt you. So just because I forgive someone doesn't mean I have to be their friend? That's right. Becky, you should forgive them and pray for them, but you should never let them hurt you because Jesus doesn't want you to be hurt. Could you help me with this? You know, Rebecca, Jesus is the real friend because he puts us back together. Thanks, Consul Howie. You're a real friend. Hello, my name is Tom Collins, producer of Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner. We're hearing from you that you're learning and enjoying our programs, and that's wonderful. You can learn more about us at our website. We're a worldwide nonprofit media ministry that depends upon your prayers and support. We need your donations to continue our good work, and your donation is tax deductible. You can go online to make your donation on our website at faithville.com now. Or you can mail your check payable to Faithville, Box 7, Maidstone, Ontario, Canada, N0R1K0, or Box 441-665, Detroit, Michigan, USA, 48244. Or you can call to donate by credit card to Faithville at 1-888-450-1111. Thank you for helping Faithville and Miss Charity's Diner bring the good news of Jesus to children in your community and around the world. <laughs> you funny. I Stop know. it. I you big. So that really wasn't your mom, was it? Oh. 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 Miss Tan, you knew that wasn't my mom calling me. I sort of thought five blocks was a long way to hear someone calling you. And besides, yeah. you two are talking again. What yeah. happened? Well, I thought about what you said, Mr. Dan, and, well, I forgive him now. Yeah, and I already forgave her. Hmm. Yeah, I remembered how many times I did something wrong and hurt somebody, too, and, and I would want them to forgive me. And I want God to forgive me, too. Aw, oh, you're not so bad. You should see some of the messes I get into. Hmm. Oh, we all mess up from time to time, and we all need God's forgiveness. I'd be totally lost without his 
for giving me. You know, Mr. Dan? Yeah, I thought grown-ups never did anything wrong. Unfortunately, everyone makes mistakes. That's why God's forgiveness is so wonderful. <gasps> hey, Mr. Dan, do you know what time it is? What's a little past noon? Why? What's wrong? Oh, uh, no. Do you think you could come to my house and tell my dad about forgiveness? Why? What did you do now? I sort of forgot to put my bike away. It's in the driveway, and Dad comes home at lunch. Oh, oh no. no. Carl? Carl, you've got to come out and stop hiding on me. Even the shakes think you're being silly. You've got to stop this. Well, I figured I'd leave you alone until you were done being angry. I'm not angry. Uh, I forgot your icing. Oh, Carl, I forgave you for that a long time ago. Well, how could you? Well, since God forgives me, I forgive you. But forgetting your icing was a big thing. It made a lot more work for you. Oh, Carl, when I do the wrong things, it often causes problems for myself and others. But God still forgives me. So, because God forgives you, you forgive me? If I would have forgotten something, would you have forgiven me? Well, sure I would. Everyone makes mistakes. Exactly. Everyone does make mistakes. Carl, do you know that God forgives you too? I know. That's what you always tell me, but... Maybe you could explain it to me a little more. I would love to. How about we discuss it over some more of your super delicious fries? You got it. Two orders of fries coming right up. Oh, great. Mm -hmm.